Hey Leo, how are you? My name is Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. So I have two decks I'm going to use for you this week, Leo. I have the Universal Folk Oracle and I have the Orient Animal Tarot. You guys are so sweet. You sent me so many beautiful, wonderful gifts for my birthday. I got so many new decks, so I'm really excited to sit and play with them throughout all of the signs this week. Leo, I was sitting in your energy and I put on the Shufflemancy and you got this song by Sarah Borelius called Brave. And I'll link it in the cards for you at the end of your video. And she has this just one lyric in the song that really hit me. And she said, let your words be anything but empty. Why don't you tell them the truth? And so it feels like it's connected to what you want. Leo they're bringing up this scene from the notebook which I have not seen since I was in high school but there's that one scene where the guy's going what do you want what do you want and that seems to be I don't know it could be related to your manifestations Leo like what do you want to do like who do you want to be like what what do you want next for you like really you need to get very clear about your intentions and what you want if you've been pulling in a lot of like mixed signals from the cosmos right it might be because you're not being very clear about what it is that you want there also is this idea of like what do you what do you want to say leo another song came up for you after that brave song and it's a song called she dances um by uh what is her name it's billy billy martin but what i noticed is the timestamp on the song it's four minutes and 43 seconds it's one second off of 444. So 444 four, four for me um, as a reader is a number that talks a lot about encouragement. You're being encouraged to do what it is that you're doing. And it feels like you're just literally one second off. Like you're one step shy of really like tapping in to like this new level or this new experience or um, expression. But it's kind of the idea of, again, let your words be anything but empty. Are you mimicking the way you hear other people talking or being or expressing there seems again it's just it's one it's like one hair off of like your own unique expression or you know this could have to do with the things that you're asking for or the things that you think you should be asking for as opposed to what you actually want or the way that you're doing your work the way that you are expressing the way that you are creating it's it's similar to a way that you see someone else that maybe you really love or um admire or respect or look up to you're emulating too much of the way they do things and not enough of the way you want to do things what do you want to say allow your words to be anything but empty it doesn't matter if they're good or if they're bad or or if they make sense if as long as it's they're not empty they're full of you of what you want what you want to say how you want to say it how you want to live it like it seems really important to like kind of peel off some of these layers of what you think is expected of you or how you think you're supposed to show up or how you think you're supposed to sound or supposed to do your work right um so that's kind of what we're working through today i do want to pray as we do and i want to pull out one of these oracle cards for you um this deck is just it's just the bee's knees like it's so it's so sweet and cute um and then we're going to go into the regular tarot i had one card fly out for you already father god thank you for bringing me and my videos in for this reading. I ask that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Leo's highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you. We love you. We thank you always. We give you all the glory and the honor for these messages. To the utmost high, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Jesus. Come on through with the wind. Okay. I see you. So you got card number 10, quickening. <laughs> the wind picks up discovery acceleration knowledge source 10 for me it's a it's a number of culmination it is an end and it is a beginning simultaneously and if you look at this card there is this little ram here what is a ram it's aries energy aries rules the first house it's the house of self being self defined and then you have card number 29 remembrance remembering love loss and healing there's this feeling leo that at one point whether it was consciously or unconsciously you felt as though you had to lose an aspect of yourself in order to become what it was 
that you wanted. It's not going to work as me. I have to be more like them. Uh, you know what I mean? It's it, it generally reminds me of, it reminds me of when I first started my channel. And I had only been reading cards for myself and my friends and the girls at work. And, you know, like, but to get on, like, a public platform is really nerve-wracking for me. And so I, like, I sat there and, and I thought, like, how do other people like do youtube readings like how do other people read for the zodiacs like how do they do it and i remember trying to incorporate like their styles and their structures in the very beginning of my channel because i just i didn't really have a blueprint and these are readers that like i really admired right i'm like they know what they're doing um but over time it just it didn't work for me it didn't feel organic and so i had to kind of throw out the blueprint and i just had to sit there and go how do i want to do this how do i want to read cards what do i want to talk about right and then kind of take it from there it's the idea of like i didn't have to sacrifice or lose a part of myself in order to gain what it was that i wanted in order to do my work all i had to do was remember right 29 that breaks down to 11 i had to remember my own alignment and say what it is that I needed to say, right? And when I did that, I saw a quickening. I saw an acceleration in the spiritual support, in the energy. And from time to time, we all like fall off a little bit. Like we all kind of accidentally step over into someone else's lane. We all, we're like sponges, right? It's like we pull so much from other people. And I think that's a good thing. I think it's important to learn from other people um, to kind of see what they're doing because it might arise or inspire something in you that maybe works better like there's nothing wrong with it the only thing that's wrong with it is when we take so much of what we can what we think is expected of us or how we think things are supposed to do and we're not being honest about what we want or how we want to do things right that is when it becomes distorted for us even going back to like that notebook movie right what do you want for some of you this also has to do with like love sex and relationships it's like what do you want in a partner Are, is there like for some of you for some of you like there's <laughs> there's someone um that like you might be fond of like you might be interested in and you might be being feeling frustrated that they don't seem to be picking up what like you're throwing down or they're not really like aware of um like your advances or the fact that you're interested but there's something about needing to like again speak up like what do you want like do you like this person do you want to pursue this person um I know that you are very psychic and intuitive Leo but not everyone is a mind reader so it's like there is need of um like closed mouths don't get fed like the squeaky wheel gets the oil whether this is in terms of your personal relationships with other people trying to set out the kind of parameters of what those relationships are going to contain whether this has to do with your life and your work or your manifestations or your creative whatever it has to do with just allow your words to be anything but empty be intentional about what you want ask yourself not what you're supposed to want not what you know what i mean like sometimes you think you're supposed to want spiritual growth but what you actually want is material comfort that's okay the universe respects honesty yes so just keep that in mind really sit and ask yourselves that question now i did have a card fly out for you out of the orient tarot when i was shuffling and it is the five of cups in reverse and what i notice in this card is that there are these little like grasshoppers boop 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 almost like this obstacle course like moving through all of these cups but then when i find this grasshopper that got to the very top there doesn't seem to be any cups there for him and so i wonder if you've been in this experience leo that you've been you've been you are a hustler baby you've been hustling you've been moving you've been doing all this work you've been jumping over you know what I mean it's like Mario Kart it's like you've been jumping over magic mushrooms it's like you've been doing all this stuff and now you're at this finish line type moment right again that 10 you feel like you're on the precipice of, a, of an end and the beginning but it's like there's nothing there for you and you're wondering why that is and it might make you feel kind of shitty inside but the question is, is where are you following? Have you been working towards like your path, your desires, your vision, what you want? Or have you been going like the road most traveled? It almost, I almost feel like some Hierophant energy, energy off of this. Like you did it the way you thought you were supposed to do it, which may not have been the way that you wanted to do it. And maybe there was a lot of conflict along that path because you couldn't really reconcile what you wanted, what you thought 
had to had to be how it had to go and so this might be like a little bit of this reality check type lesson for you right now where it's like shit like i should just done what i wanted and again, maybe you wouldn't have gotten that personal revelation had you not kind of gone through this little maze, right? Only to feel like you ended up belly up. And I don't think that you are. I, I actually do feel it's like this bursting energy, like right on the other side of the door for you in many ways. But again, 443, you're just one hair. You're just one honest admission. You're just one declaration of what you really want and desire off of it. And it feels like as soon as you do that, the floodgate opens up for you once you remember once and then it's like healing it's like needing to heal and reconcile your relationship to self what you want how you feel how you want to do it what's it for you know what I mean it's like and when I say those words it's like I feel like this empowerment in the spirit comes up and you get very clear. Again, a lot of this has to do with clarity. You get very clear about what you want. So it's easier for you to see what it is that you don't want and what you don't want to do. Instead of playing by the world's rules or by spirit's rules or the universe, you sit down your own rules of how you want to be, what you want to do. What, what are your morals? What are your ethics? What are your desires? Right? Really claiming like the individuality in yourself and in your journey because i know in spirituality we can become incredibly individualistic at the expense of like community but it almost feels like once you tap into that energy you hit into the 444 and then you connect with the community that you need you connect with the energy you know what you want and so it makes it easier for creation to bring it to you and it's the five of cups in reverse. And so again, it's also the idea of coming out of regret and coming out of remorse. Sometimes you look back on seasons and you go, wow, like I was really trying to be something that I wasn't, or I was really trying to emulate someone else that I respected. And that is awesome. But like, I'm a little bit different than that. And that's okay. I, I, we don't want you to take this, this personal revelation and see it as a loss right what we want you to do is to almost instead flip it on the other side and and realize what you've gained now because you've played a lot of roles you've done a lot of things in shoes that didn't really fit you and you know how to do it now so that's kind of cool you have experience in areas that maybe otherwise you wouldn't have but now it's time to like find a pair of sneaks that really like fit you just right It reminds me of uh, like when I was in high school and I, I fell into like a group of friends, like a group of, a group of gals um, who were great and I really liked them. But I, I remember periods of time where like my mom would go, who are you? Like you sound like your little friends. Like that doesn't sound like you. And I'd be like, what are you talking about? It's totally me. And it wasn't me. Like I was just absorbing like so much from like my social group and like the people that were around me. I didn't realize that I had started to emulate like their personality and their opinions and their attitudes and all that stuff. And it was only after I had stopped hanging out with them and I got some some new friends, right? My own like ragtag group of misfits that I really like came back into myself and what I wanted. And you know, what I mean? does that make sense? So it's just a little bit of that energy, which is fine. But again, some of this has to do with relationship dynamics that some of you guys are not effective communicators when it comes to what you want in relationships. It's like you're good with all like the spiritual dialogue and the red, like I want to be aligned and I want like it's all of that stuff, right? But when it comes to like, what do you want? Do you want commitment? What kind of partner do you want? Like, what are the parameters? What is okay? What is not okay with you? Like, um, in what areas are you willing to compromise? And, you know, where are your boundaries? It's like, it's all of that kind of stuff. It's almost like, a, again, not everyone is a mind reader, Leo. So it's like some of you feel deeply unsatisfied because you're not really making way in relationships in the way that you want to be. But you're kind of, but the reason is, is because you're kind of indecisive. You're not very clear with others. You're not very clear with yourself or spirit um, about what you want. It's like, I, I want a relationship, but in actuality, you're like emotionally unavailable. 
And so when those options don't come to you or those options are kind of unavailable or those people are a little bit indecisive and, you know, they're not really sure what they want, you know what I mean? And it might frustrate you, but it's just, again, some of it is the reflection of the energy as well. You're not communicating with people about what you want. It's like too casual. It's like some of it's almost like too casual. Again, notebook is not a casual movie. You know, it's like, what do you want from these people? Because and I feel like I might be talking to a little bit of a male collective right now. Um, my my demographic is dominant female energy, right? But I, I got some fellas. I got some fellas in here. Um, that seems to be like an issue, right? Because don't forget, masculine energy in and of itself, it's very um, action oriented. Some of you guys are really struggling with being um, more assertive or more vocal about what you want, right? It's like trying to approach relationships um, a little too open-ended, a little too casually. And so when you don't end up getting kind of the, the union energy that you want, you feel kind of confused, but it's because you didn't make your intentions clear, right? So this is about your intentions um, in relationships, your intentions with spirit, your intentions for your life and the things you're trying to manifest or create or just all of it, right? All of it. And there's also a bit a heavy energy of assumptions here. You assume people want a certain thing. And so that is what you provide or that is how you show up. But it's not what you want. And it's not even what they want. Again, let your words be anything but empty. Why don't you tell them the truth? Some of this also, a lot of you guys who may hold yourself back. We have a lot of three cards we got a lot coming out um you might hold yourself back from like speaking up about certain things like even like social activism you know um issues in the spiritual community just like just stuff just stuff about how you feel your personal opinion because you might feel as though it's going to be div divisive or it might be controversial or like you don't want to deal with the backlash of your own truth and that's a problem right and i get that because when you speak your truth or your opinions and we live in a world where everyone's got an opinion, right? And you can see how that can negatively impact people. Sometimes people open up their mouth and that's the last thing they ever say, right? And and that can happen. But that's the cost of, of walking in your truth. That's the cost of sharing your story sometimes. It doesn't have to be. But sometimes those are risks that we have to be willing to take. To speak up about things that are important to us. It don't have to be important or well received by other people, right? But it is it is important. Like, do you want to be liked or do you want to be honest? The Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, a lot of this has to do with um, kind of just like an insecurity. Some of you guys might, again, put on like the masks of other people or try and emulate or embody the energy of people that you admire or that you feel are really confident or that you respect a lot to kind of circumvent wherever you don't feel as secure in yourself but part of the reason that you admire some of these people so much is because they're really honest is because they are deeply uniquely themselves because they say the thing that needs to be said because it feels right for them right they sit in their power in that way that is what you're emulating but instead of pulling pieces or impressions of it from them you can just sit and look at what you already have here right this queen of wands it has a little mouse which is adorable um but mouses for me it talks about the details so it's like it's this idea that you can watch these these romance movies you can watch the notebook and want an everlasting love like that that's just full of passion you can see someone um that you admire who is successful and you can see the overarching themes of that and you can pull those overarching themes in but the details of it need to be filled up with everything that you are ten of wands yeah the ten of wands in reverse you need to put down this this burden of performance in a lot of ways again you don't have to sacrifice your truth or what you want you also the the word ashamed you don't have to be ashamed of what you want because you don't feel as though it's spiritual enough or because you don't feel as um as though it's plausible or it, you know like it's, it's that sort of energy and instead of wands there's this little beaver and ain't he cute beavers for me they, they talk a lot about building it's kind of like an eight of pentacles energy beavers are really busy they build dams they stop flow where it doesn't need to be and they create flow where it does need to be and so it is just kind of 
again, this message about when we operate out of like uh, uncertainty and what we want, when we operate out of our insecurities, when we try and um, again, put forth an image, do our work in a certain way that is not really how we want to do it or how it feels right or most comfortable for us. We stop our own flow. We create unnecessary blockages, which makes it harder for us to get where it is that we actually want to go. Not where we think we're supposed to go, but where we want to go. It makes it harder for us to connect with the right people who actually want to come in and build dams with us. Does that make sense? And again, these three cards, they're all coming out in reverse and we're not in a retrograde right now, which means that this is all just like a deeply internal process. The three of wands. It kind of wanted to come out in reverse as well. Again, it's just talking about like a lack of progress. Four, four, three. It's just this recognition of I'm not doing things the way I want to be doing them. I'm not saying what I want to be saying. I'm censoring myself. I'm watering it down. It's almost like um, your intensity. So this is to do with your intensity, especially um, when it comes to like personal relationships as well. I don't want to freak people out with my truth. I don't want to come on too strong or be too intense or, or any of that kind of stuff. Right. And it all just kind of it's over analytical. It's it's kind of like dance. I used to dance for years and years and years and years and I would know a routine backwards, forwards, sideways, upside down. But if I got on the stage and I got stage fright all of a sudden and I started being hyper aware of all of the movements of my hands and my feet, I would trip up my steps because I'm trying to hyper analyze something that I already know how to do. And that prevented me from being able to progress through that routine successfully, right? And so it's a similar thing kind of going on here. And I see him kind of like looking over, right? It's almost like he's kind of wants to go. He wants to jump off. He wants to lean forward. But his tail is like keeping him stuck right here to just these three little wands. It's like, I want progress, but it's putting all of these conditions on yourself. You don't have to do that. Don't treat yourself the way that the world treats you, Leo. I feel inclined to say like, who is your master? Who is the master of you, Leo? Sometimes we have to ask ourselves that question. Sometimes you go, wow, like money is the master of me. Acceptance, being liked, that's, that's the master of me. That's who I serve. And when you take all that away, you're able to become master of self. You master yourself. You are a servant to no one. That's freedom. It's not an acceptance from other people. It's not a certain level of status. It's not saying just the right thing so people agree with you. You don't want everyone to agree with you, especially people that don't like you or people that aren't invested in you or people that are not aligned with your vision. You don't want them to like and agree with everything that you're saying. Does that make sense? Those are the people that you want to disagree with you. Four of Swords. So you're just hanging around. Look at the sloth. You're just hanging around. I think you know that too. Again, some of this is just stage fright. What if they don't like me? What if they don't agree? What if it doesn't work? What if it doesn't? What if it does though? What if being just completely unabashed, yourself saying what it is you want to say doing your work in the way you want to do it showing up to someone and going I don't know how you feel and I'm not responsible for it but I like you and I want to pursue this and that's how I feel what if it all worked out for you what if that was the energy what was that 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 gave you that one extra second of alignment that kicked everything into gear for you being completely and utterly self-defined outside of everyone else that was the thing that brought every that to bring everything in. Not by playing it smart, not by being strategic, not by doing things the way you thought that they're supposed to be done, by reclaiming all of the pieces of yourself that you sacrificed and just owning them. That was actually the thing to take you out of rest, to take you out of just hanging out 
to actually making real change in the world, real change in your life. The Page of Swords. Look at this little cockatoo. It came out in reverse. When I see um, like cockatoos, parrots, again, they talk a lot about mimicking for me. Ways in which we absorb unconsciously and we mimic what we think other people want us to do. What we think we're supposed to do. The blueprint, these are the right steps. Maybe your steps are different. And so when I see that page of swords in reverse, I see it as an aspect of you. This four of swords feels a lot like the hangman, kind of hanging around and going, that's not gonna work for me anymore. Setting a new standard for yourself or how you show up, how you express what it is that you wanna do no longer allowing yourself to just mimic what uh, you hear other people say because that's that's the flavor of the week. Mm -mm. Allowing yourself to move forward with a new idea. To be completely honest, in, in a world full of empty words, yours are full with your own ideas, with your own desires, with your own truth. See how that sets you free. King of Cups. See how that sets you free, Leo. So, this is what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. I hope that you enjoyed this. I am going to go do an extended reading for you. Leo, if you're interested in your extended reading or your monthly reading for March, those links will be down below for you. Um, I encourage you to check out our Patreon family. We have all the extendeds, all the monthlies. I do host a mystery school over there. Very fun for us. Um, and I do have personal services. You can book with me through my website. I love you very much. I hope that this was helpful and I will see you next time. Goodbye.